So no more pulling your mask down uh, so that it covers your chin as you speak into a microphone, no longer pulling it out and putting it into your pocket. Wear your mask at all at times when in church, when in the mosque, wherever you worship, uh, where there are other people present, make sure you keep your mask on. Tension remains high in Mukutani area of Baringo County. A day after a bandit attack left one person dead and two others, including a child, severely injured. The suspected bandits attacked a village on Thursday and shot dead a 60-year-old man and injured a mother and her one-year-old baby. The two are currently recuperating at the Baringo County Referral Hospital. The victim who survived the attack says she just concluded preparing her evening meal uh, for when her four children alerted her about armed bandits who were approaching their homestead. The baby suffered pel a pelvic fracture and a bullet went through her lower abdomen through the stomach, leaving a big wound behind. More than 80 households from Mukutani Ward in Baringo South Sub County are holed up in various security camps. The attack came days after security agencies and area leaders agreed on a 30-day ceasefire in the Capedo security operation. Hii uvamisi imefanyika tu siku mbili baada ile mkutano ilikuwa la Poria. Na tuliambiwa kwamba security team waliongea na wale machambazi, wale viongozi wa machambazi, wakaambia kwamba wanataka uvamisi isifanyike kwa siku 30. Siku moja tu tumepata attack mkutani langu tu ni NPR waridishwe waridishwe ma eh, mapunduki ukiona watu mkutani kama ungekuwa na NPR wao unajua NPR wako na advantage because wanajua terrains NPR wanajua watu wao wako wapi NPR wanajua ngombe yao iko wapi operation hii kusimamishwa <coughs> but ilikuwa scaled down visa ina hivyo ikitendeka sisi tutaendelea kufanya kazi yetu viongozi wao wakiendelea kufanya vile waliomba